Welcome back to Jolie Farms. Appreciate your tuning in with us today. So Lisa and I went to Loja for a little shopping trip today. Small shopping trip. I think it was more for show and tell. More for video's sake. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't buy that much. So we had some questions about, you know, price of groceries and things like that here. And, you know, what's it like to shop here? And I'll just say, we mostly use the Mercados mm -hmm. and local things. We go to uh, Kiwi, uh, we go to Super Maxi or Granite Key for buying our bulk products like in toilet paper, paper towels, you know, mm -hmm. that type of thing. Um, so Granite Key and Super Maxi, they say that's where the rich people shop. Yeah, I would call it a gringo shopping, but there's a lot of Ecuadorians that shop there too. Especially today, very few gringos. Yeah. Matter of fact, we did run into an Ecuadorian friend of ours. Yes, we did. We'll tell her picture right up there, Mrs. Vivar. She's uh, 94 years old, out doing her own grocery shopping, I might add. Strong 94. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. So, um, yeah, you know, the Supermax and Granite Key are owned by the same family, I'm told. So uh, the difference that we like about Granite Key, I think Granite Key is more well lit, has the underground parking, you can park for free. And then we have um, a discount if you buy five or more of any item, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, any one item, you get a discount. So Lisa uses a lot of, you know, powdered sugar. So we buy, you know, 10 bags at a time and yeah. it saves a little money in the long run. Yeah. As long as you got room for something like that, you, I think you can get better bulk pricing from Granite Key if you want to stock up on certain items. Yeah. And, you know, Supermax, I think it's probably got a little bit better meat selection, um, you know, different. It, yeah, just kind of, it's different. Both Super Maxi and Granite Key are going to be a lot closer to your U.S. shopping experience um, in the means of the store. Super Maxi is pretty much pure, you know, grocery store, whereas Granite Key is more like a mini super Walmart. I mean, it's got yeah, a lot of different refrigerators, things. stoves, all that stuff. And yeah, clothes, you know. Um, so, uh, we started filming first at Granite Key, and then, uh, I was filming with my gimbal and my cell phone, and, um, I got stopped by a manager who said, basically in Spanish, your gimbal is interfering with our security cameras, <laughs> and we want you to stop. Yeah. So, I had to detach it from the gimbal. I snuck a couple of more little videos in there. Go a little more incognito. Yeah. So I apologize for the quality on some of the little videos we put together here uh, because they're going to be without the gimbal and at mm. times it gets a little bit shaky without the gimbal. Um, I'll try to stabilize it the best I can, but mm. that's just the nature of the game. Now keep in mind, these aren't the only grocery store places in town. These are just some of the, the bigger ones that a lot of people frequent. Um, if you like walking around Loja, definitely go check out all the little tiendas because they are chocked full of awesome products and deals. There's a grocery store called Zeramar with a Z, Zeramar. And they, um, they're probably where more um, people with less funds would shop. It's a little bit more economical. When you got Tienda Mia. Not Tienda Mia. No. What's the... Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of the name of it. I'll think of the name of it. But, yeah. So there's some other, you know, little off-brand, smaller stores mm -hmm. that are a lot more economical, don't carry the same selection. Super yeah. Maxi has been listening to the gringo input yeah. and carrying a lot of Americanized items. Um, a lot of the spices, et cetera, we're able to get now. We couldn't get five, six years ago. No, you couldn't. Though a friend of ours told us we could get uh, coconut aminos at Super Maxi. I haven't found them yet. So yeah. whoever bought them out, hopefully they'll buy some more soon. Maybe we can find them at the Super Maxi in Cuenca. Oh, maybe. The Super Maxis in Cuenca, especially the one that's close to what we call Gringolandia, probably has a lot more American type products. Yeah, yeah. Overall, they're getting more and more variety and more and more selection and more consistency. In the beginning, we used to go to the store and it's like the herb section. Today is all basil. <laughs> Today is all oregano, so stock up now. Yeah. So um, I think that you can find all of those products that you're used to, the Jif peanut butter, all that stuff, 
If you're on the standard American diet, you can probably stay on it. I would certainly recommend you don't. Yeah. Um, if you're going to make this life change and moving to Ecuador, really change your life. And uh, let's look at getting on some different types of foods. Um, try the local stuff and, yeah. you know, try to become more localized. More localized. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. But I will say the uh, we don't buy a lot of fruit at the major stores. Uh, we find it a lot fresher here in town. Yeah. So uh, and, the, and the tiendas in in Loja, you know, um, Fruta Al Paso. Uh, my good friend there, Diego, keeps mm -hmm. a nice selection of fruit. I saw some strawberries in there, like this big around. Oh, they were so good. Huge. They were really good. So. Um, yeah, those are, you know, the Grand Mercado, the Grand Colombia Mercado, the Central Mercado, all those great big Mercados, you're going to find fresh fruits and vegetables everywhere. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, to get organic, you kind of go to the Mercado here on Saturday morning to find your organic stuff. Um, yeah, it's just in the, in the super grocery store, super maxi Granite Key, it's, um, you, you get the empty fruit. Kind of like you do in the states that doesn't have any flavor yeah um so they ship it in just like everybody else we've brought in some home and it must have been frozen because it was rotten on the inside i mean we've had all kinds of experiences with that locally we don't seem to have that same problem that's true all right so we're going to have a, a series of little clips here we went to granite key first mm -hmm. and then we went to kiwi which is like a giant hardware store yeah not quite as good as Home Depot, but a lot of stuff you'll see. Yeah. And um, then we went to Super Maxi and explored mm -hmm. Super Maxi. At the end of these little clip of videos, I'm going to have some more information for you, so stay tuned. So we are at the Granite Key in Loja, and we're about to go in and do a little shopping, check a few prices for you, and uh, we'll show you all around this whole area. Pretty nice little plaza. You can park underground by going right through there. Nice free underground parking. Across the river from here, a lot of traffic today. There's a river right here, and over here is the Grand Mercado, the Columbia Grand Mercado. And uh, so over in this direction is the Mayorista, they call it. You can buy anything in there, all kinds of vegetables and fruits and what have you. And then over here, this is inside is all meat market and uh, lots of great meats. Uh, down on that end of it is the best place to buy um, your clay pots and stuff for the garden. A uh, great store down there on the left-hand side, all the way down there where that yellow building is. And a uh, great pottery store, Lisa likes to shop there. So, all right, we're gonna give you a view of what's going on inside. Okay, we're inside Granite Key and you can see, I mean, they sell laptops and monitors, TVs. All that type of thing you can buy here. Uh, lots of USB flash drives, ink for printers, all the batteries. And you can see things like batteries. The prices are, I don't know, pretty equivalent to the US, I would say, on, on like your energizers. And then, of course, I mean, they sell TVs in this grocery store. Um, this is, um, you know, kind of what you want to buy. This 75 inch TV right here. And the price is eleven hundred ninety-nine ninety-nine. Pretty good price, actually, for a seventy-five inch. Um, here's sixty-five inch up here for nine eighty-nine. I mean, that's a really good price. Not bad. Not bad. Fourteen ninety-nine for this one. And they're all pretty much internet-ready TVs these days. And as you can see over here, nice selection of mice and keyboards and. I mean, for a grocery store, they sell a lot of different things. Uh, headphones, you know, all you people who are headphone crazy, there they are. You can buy washers and dryers in here. Here's a Whirlpool, holds 17 kilograms in there. $456 for a Whirlpool washer. Here's the dryers. Uh, here's the dryers right here, 519. Endorama, 638. The May brand is kind of popular here as well. And here's you got stove tops, ovens and stoves. All of that here if you want. Little electric burners, they've got all that here. 
And on this side, we've got full selection of refrigerators. Um, here's all your crock pots, instapots, all those kind of things are right in this area. So rice cookers, here's an air fryer right there. Can't tell how much the air fryer is, but they got a pretty good selection on these air fryers. Here's an Indorama air fryer, looks like 120 bucks for that one. Here's a Black & Decker air fryer, $184 for that one. And uh, here's a Daewoo, wow, this thing's pretty fancy. So uh, $219, yeah, we're getting fancy. In. And of course, lots of, you know, stand mixers, uh, food processors, all that kind of stuff is available here. Here's an air fryer for $109 pretty good deal. So um, this place has a huge selection of fruits and vegetables and as I pan around here you can see not my favorite place to shop for fruits and vegetables. I like to go to the Mercados but it's all here. Uh, Granadillas and these are mangoes or mangoes they say here and these are uh, Duranzos like a peach is a Duranzo. Pitahaya is a real nice fruit. If you never had a pitahaya, those are really good. And of course, uh, these are the red ones like a dragon fruit right there. And then uh, apples, babacoa, pears, you name it. Tomato de Arbol, pretty popular here. Lots of potatoes. And on this side, we're gonna have papayas, all different kinds of papayas. There's quite a few different kinds of papayas here. These smaller ones like this. These right here, you see a little more common, the large ones, and then the babaco right there. These are pretty interesting, it's like a cantaloupe almost inside. And then they actually do have some melons down here, some yellow melons, some watermelons. Most of those products are going to come out of Peru. Sometimes they'll be out of the coast. Lots of pineapples. Pineapples, like 25 cents a libra, 56 cents a kilo. Do you have a good meat section here? You can see prepackaged steaks and things like that. Um, hamburger, turkey burger, they've got all that kind of stuff in here. And uh, they have a sausage here that we like that's pretty good. I don't see it today. Really hit and miss on some of these products. So here's your hamburger. Uh, that's a dollar eighty-eight. Pretty much everything's three dollars a pound. Um, when it comes out, you can get the package rolls. We do that. It's actually a pretty good burger. And then you got all your chicken, a little bit of cow tongue right there. In case you've never had cow tongue, everyone likes some cow tongue now and then. Chickens everywhere. Chicken parts, chicken feet. Bags of chicken feet. My dogs love those. So on some of these pre-packaged meats, I would be very careful, and I'll tell you why. If you read the labels on some of this, especially like the hot dogs and things, it'll say contine transgenical, yeah, which means they have transgenics in them. And I'll see if I can show that to you in a minute. But they have all kinds of hot dogs. If you're a hot dog lover, Ecuador is not going to work too well for you. I haven't found a hot dog here yet that I really like. I found one I like, but it had uh, a lot of soy isolates in it. So, uh, yeah, hot dogs here, you're probably going to have to import your Hebrew nationals in your briefcase. Okay, here's exactly what I'm talking about. If you read the label right here, it says, Contiene Transgenicos. So anything that has that on the label that contains transgenics, I would personally not eat that. Um, some of these things on the label, they, they don't have that, and they're safe to eat, but any of these processed foods, you've got to be very careful with in the United States, as well as here in Ecuador. Of course, fresh breads of all sorts, baguettes, you name it. They do a really nice job on their breads here. Baguettes are cheap. 
Hola. Okay, so we're back in the parking garage of Granite Key, and we're going to leave here, and we're going to go to Super Maxi. Um, we may go to Kiwi as well, which is like a big hardware store. So they stopped us from filming inside Granite Key. They didn't like me filming the meat section and uh, asked me to stop filming in the store. So uh, evidently their security cameras were concerned. So we stopped filming there. We'll try again in the other store, see if anybody stops us. But hopefully you get a good flavor of what's available here and some of the prices. Thanks. Okay, so we're here at Kiwi, which is next to the Super Maxi Plaza. This is a great big hardware store. We think that what happened, my gimbal was making them nervous about interfering with the security cameras. We're going to try to be a little more incognito here. We'll give you a look around. So they have lots of barbecue grills and things for the outdoor storage, plastic storage containers. Barbecue grills here can be kind of expensive. Um, here's a little charbroil gas grill. $243. Not cheap. Um, I actually own one of these. And that's a screaming deal for $198. Um, it's just a charcoal, no gas, but they uh, work real well. They smoke real good. And uh, I've smoked a lot on mine. A lot of electrical stuff here in the store. See a lot of lights and things like that. Some to electrical goods, they have quite a bit of stuff. And, you know, not real expensive. I, I, you know, probably pretty much in line with the US. Some stuff's gonna be a little cheaper because it's from China. They have a great selection of stoves and cooking appliances, lots of sinks and toilets and things. And this is one of the things I like about the uh, store. It has a lot of uh, different tiles you can buy here. So this is per square uh, meter, yeah, $3.30, $17.73 for that. So the prices are kind of all over the place. There's a lot of tile stores in Loja, so you can really... Um, you run the gamut. $6 is about as cheap as you're going to get on tile. Um, but you can get a lot of different stuff. The wood look in these ceramics. They call it all ceramica. So you can see you can get the great big tiles like down there. A pretty good selection, I think. Lots of paints. They will mix your paints here. You're looking at latex interiors at, you know, less than $10 a gallon. And uh, some at $8.41. So it's kind of all over the place. They'll mix any color you want. Match your colors. They do a pretty good job at tinting here. And, um, you know, spray paints, all your Rust-Oleum type stuff. A little more expensive on these U.S. items because you're going to have that 30% import fee. So a can of Rust-Oleum there, $12.26. Probably a little higher than you'd pay there. Lots of the uh, tapes and things that we use for painting. And pretty good uh, selection. Now these paints are going to be cheaper. You see they're in the $3 range because they're not from the U.S. All sorts of faucets and shower heads and things. You can get pretty much anything you want in here. Here these are hot water heaters. The instant hot water heaters. Califons we call them. From $187 all the way up to $368. Just depending on the size. How much. In here they have a lot of products for the home. You see they have uh, shop vacuum cleaners, regular vacuum cleaners, um, Stanley's, you name it. So there's a little Stanley back for $81. The Karcher is a kind of a popular brand here. Up in the $130 range and above. Um, some of these are $245 for the bigger one. And then fans, you know everybody likes to have a fan here. They've got them. If you want uh, a little heater, they've got quite a few different types of little heaters in here. And uh, we bought a little small one for our bedroom. Don't use it much, but we have it. And of course, you know, lots of plastic furniture and things like that for the outdoors. Great place for that kind of thing. Lots of uh, plastic storage goodies in here. They do a lot of this kind of thing here. And then again, just like in Granite Key, lots of pots and pans and air fryers and juicers. The big juicer up on that shelf is $89. That one right there. Coffee pots, you know, um, they're available pretty much everywhere now. Really nice coffee pots. 
I do carry the steel brand of chainsaws and weed trimmers. And uh, it will two year guarantee on the steel here. So uh, you bring it right back here to this store and they have it repaired for you. There's the chainsaws down there, steel. Nice chainsaws. And then they have some other brands here as well. Won't have as good a guarantee. So uh, water hoses, spray nozzles, hose parts. So your water hoses, you know, uh, um, have, you know, regular run-of-the-mill half-inch, 10-meter hose, $9.23. They're cheap. For your better hoses, that's these red ones. They're a little more expensive. Um, for ones that are a little, little longer too, they're like the 5 8 and bigger. They're going to be up in that $50 range by the time you get a decent size one. Okay, so they got the rubber boots in here. Kind of hard to fit a guy like me, but they do have the rubber boots for most normal feet. And uh, what a selection. I mean, if you want rubber boots, buddy, they got them. And uh, lots of safety gear, fire extinguishers for the home and for, you know, there's a small one for $12. Bigger ones, $52 for that great big one. Hard hats. Knee pads, you know, things like that. Uh, these are shields for using your weed trimmer, grinder, stuff like that. Lots of safety glasses. And then uh, we have the 3M respirators, $41 on those. Some cheaper ones for 25, the 3M's probably better. Lots of gloves, you know. Um, gloves here are reasonably cheap. I use these, this master brand 372 for a pair. I like them because they have the scrubby, you know, rubber, rubberized front cloth back, so it's breathable, but they've got it all. I mean, if you want leather gloves, they got leather gloves, welding gloves. Um, they have gloves for using chemicals and things like that. All that's available here. They do have lots of tools here, mostly the Stanley brand, and then they have an off a uh, brand called Trooper. Pretty common here to see the Trooper. You see you can buy a whole kit here. And you know that big kit right there is like $172. So yeah, tools are not cheap. This one's $294, almost $300. Bucks. Um, but that's a 135 piece set. Pretty good set. Tools are expensive here, especially the, the Stanley brands. All car stuff here, everything from uh, distilled water and batteries, you name it. Car waxes, you can put it on a car, they probably got it. Lots of saws, screwdriver city, every kind of screw. Screwdrivers, you know, $3.55 for a good one. They're not too expensive. Got your favorite snap-ons, you probably want to bring those with you. Shove them in your suitcase. Stanley brand, pretty popular here. Here's a 20-piece set for $27. Um, hammers, I mean, they got it all. All kinds of weird stuff. Lots of levels. Every man's got to have a level. Keep a level head. Chisels. The Friedel brand is another one that's kind of a local brand. And uh, Stanley's are up there. Vices. It's the only good vice to have. Do any other kind of vice. Ladders. Um, we bought some ladders here. Pretty good on the ladder. You can carry some car tires, tool boxes, and lots of uh, pressure pumps. You got to do some water system stuff here. Um, here's a great big 100 liter for 375. You know, this puppy's set up ready to go. And uh, you can really do some pumping with that. Here's a, what you don't see very often these standard size water heaters like we have in the U.S. This one's $401. Um, so yeah, you don't see that a whole lot. Yeah, well tanks, I've got that here. Um, different pumps for different purposes. I use this pump a lot for pumping out of my rain tanks. $42 right now. Here's another one, 76, 67 for that one. You got a lot of different pumps, big grinders. 
$252 on the DeWalt. DeWalt's popular here as it is in the U.S. You pay a lot for them. Tile cutters, there's paint mixers, lots of paint mixer stuff, lots of DeWalt tools. And over here, we've got all your grinding discs, DeWalt tools, a lot of DeWalt stuff. This is a Stanley table saw, 10 inch, 1800 watt it says for $268. So here's a little cheaper one, a skill saw also for $251. It's a 10 inch, 1600 watt. So not as powerful of a motor, um, but they do have them here. Generators and uh, pressure washers. Um, air compressors, lots of air compressors, lots of more air compressors, a lot of good stuff. Here's a nice uh, Bosch table saw, 1700 watt for 569. That's not a bad deal. Here's a smaller Bosch for 319.91. Okay, we are at the La Pradera Multiplaza and down at that end is Total Hogar, a home store. You got KFC right there. Manco de Loja is right over there. Lisa is there at Manco de Loja right now. ATMs here and sporting goods stores. Supermax is right there in that corner. And you know, they got some other little stuff here too. So we're gonna go in and uh, show you Supermaxi. So at Supermaxi, this is the meat counter here. You can get meats cut to order, sliced, all of that right here. Olives, pretty good olive selection there. They do have some seafood selection. Most of the seafood here, I think you're gonna find is the farm seafood. But they've got tilapia, you know, rainbow trout, different things in there. And then over here, you know, tortillas and again, um, ribs, chicken, steak. So a steak here, you know, the better, you know, like this is a T-bone. $7.50 for that T-bone. Not too terribly bad. So this is really good sausage that we get here. So this is the chorizo de res. Extremely good sausage. So something a lot of people are interested in. Canned goods. The Facundo brand. $1.85 for corn. And you can get a pack here. Like three pack. Yeah, 4.92, and uh, here's the Super Maxi brand. Sometimes they're cheaper, sometimes they aren't. The peas, Snob brand, very popular here, dollar thirty-three on your peas. Uh, beans, dollar forty. Facundo frijoles, dollar fifty-seven. This is what you have to walk for because they go on sale a lot. One thing about Granite Key is if you buy five of anything, you get a discount. Here it's not necessarily that way. Super Maxi doesn't do the same things. So, you know, a lot of pretty good brands here. You will find some American brands from time to time. I'll try to show you that. Pastas on this side are very, very cheap. Um, here's the expensive stuff. Any of your American brands like Jack Daniels are going to be higher. There's a fifth of Jack Daniels, 60 bucks. Wild Turkey, 70 bucks. Jameson Brandy, 35. Your Glen Fittich, 70 bucks. There's a blue label, $439. I don't know what that is. There's one for 70 bucks. And you can see they have a lot of the local brand stuff here. They got tequila, San Jose tequila. Lo siento. Lots of mixers and things. Yeah, pretty good wine selection. We get a lot of the Brazilian wines here and the Spanish wines. A lot of good wines. And so, you know, wines are going to be like from seven bucks on up just depending on what it is. More expensive wines in the $28 region. $23 for the reserves. 
But in that seven, eight dollar range, you can get some good wines here. I'm not a huge wine connoisseur, but every once in a while, this is a very good wine right here for eleven dollars. Misiones de Ringo. And the uh, Gato Negro is pretty popular here for ten ninety three. I have to say, this is one of the better bakeries. Um, really good uh, breads and things here. Croissants are cheap. They're thirty six cents a piece here. You can certainly make your own cheaper. So that's what we had for you. Um, nice little shopping trip. You got to see some of the prices. Again, sorry for the camera work, but wanted to try to stay a bit incognito with it so they wouldn't throw us out. Um, so yeah, um, if, if you're wanting specifics about items that you use, I mean, and, and trying to create a budget, I, I probably can't help you because you and I eat different things. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we all eat different things. Even Lisa and I eat different things. Definitely. So me trying to give you pricing to create a budget, it would be like some a job for a personal shopper. Um, I think an exploratory trip to Ecuador is what should happen. Mm -hmm. It's what we did. It's what everyone should do. Come spend a week or two and go around and check prices and see if it really is affordable for you. Um, we've said before in many videos what our monthly budget is for food and groceries, yeah. Yeah. and it's it's pretty darn cheap. It, it, for us, and, and we're comparing it to where we came from, so we're comparing it to the U.S., um, but he's right. I mean, if you're going to make a change, you make a change. Our goal was not to do what we did in the States, but to change our lifestyle, change our eating habits, and all along, we've always said, buy locally. And so you want to do as much as you can to source your food and everything else locally. And you'll be happier in the long run, but you may miss a few things. Yeah, and I'll just tell you, you know, while I was still in Texas, um, and this isn't a real fair comparison, but it's somewhat, um, I weighed 245 pounds six months before we left Texas. Um, today, I'm around 182, 183. So, um, yeah, changed lifestyle, lost a bunch of weight, here we are. Um, now, I, I will say, um, it does take a little getting used to here in the local products. If you're gonna live like a local, um, you've gotta stretch your imagination, stretch your taste buds, and be sure and um, try different things and be a, be a pioneer. Yeah, I mean, What's the point of coming if you're not going to have a little bit of the local culture? Exactly right. And I think, um, you know, Super Max is on the south end of, of Loja, so it's closer to Vilcabamba. It's about a 40-minute drive. Um, taxi ride is going to cost you 20 bucks over, you know, 10 bucks back. Uh, wait time, so yeah. you'll plan on spending 40 bucks, I would say. Um, if you're going to take a taxi, you can take the bus much cheaper. Mm -hmm. You can take a shared taxi for a couple of bucks. Yeah, yeah. Um, it all depends on what you want to do, but the yeah. food is less expensive. But take notes from the locals. They don't shop for large bulks of time. Everything is fresh. They eat fresh. They don't store up a whole lot. Um, and just keep things growing and keep things moving. Yeah, and you know, we were talking with Lisa's mom the other day. Now, we don't charge her rent or utilities or anything like that, but she's a single woman living here by herself. And so um, she's here on the property with us. Mm -hmm. So she spends now, she does have a lot of, uh, of um, med medical needs. Mm -hmm. So she spends about $100 a month at the pharmacy because um, yeah. she has, you know, five or six different meds she takes. So about hundred dollars a month at the pharmacy. All total, she thinks she spends maybe three hundred to three fifty a month. Yeah. So and she's pretty good. She's real good. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, we've shown you before. We can go 
locally to the market on the on the Saturday or um, just to attend it during the week. And for ourselves, I mean, five to ten dollars in and a lot of groceries goes a long way. Your meat's going to cost you a little bit more. I think we spend uh, less than twenty dollars for meat in a week, and and I we eat quite a bit of meat. Yeah, if you go to the market here, the meat market here, yeah. we can get steaks three dollars a pound, three fifty. Yeah, we don't buy a whole lot of steaks. Um, the hamburgers three dollars. Hamburgers it's two fifty a, a libre. Yeah. So. Um, and it's good, good enough. Um, then you can have the pork and the chicken. And so it just depends on what you want and how much you eat in a week. But price wise, it's pretty good. It's very good. And um, I think, you know, expect to spend maybe 20% of what you spend in the U.S. Um, mm. Eating here, living here. Mm, yeah, from mm. what we know. Yeah. From when we left. That's my suggestion. So yeah. uh, be sure and watch uh, a video we put out quite some time ago called Food in Vilcabamba. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of a walking tour of a lot of the fruit stands and the Mercado and thing like, things like that. A lot of information in that video. It'll be right here on the end. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Ciao for now.